Okay, in this quick tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to enable error reporting in WordPress. Um, basically, what this is going to do is show us any PHP errors that are happening uh, when you load your site, and it'll actually display it right on the site for you to view. This is really useful in diagnosing a lot of problems that happen, especially if your site happens to go down. Um, anyway, uh, I'm actually using my host's uh, file manager here. Um, any cPanel will have an online version of this, similar to this one. Um, otherwise, you can always use regular FTP2 and uh, access your site. Um, so in my case, um, this is going to be the root folder for my site. You can see all my files here. Um, and this is really where you're, what we're looking for is our wpconfig.php file. Um, this is where we are going to make our change. And again, you could do this with Dreamweaver or FileZilla or whatever you want to use, as long as you can connect to your server. Um, so I'm going to click this to edit it. And down here, I'm actually seeing the contents. Um, the WP, what we're looking for is something called uh, <clears throat> WP debug. And it's out usually right near the bottom here. As you can see, here it is. It says WT, WP debug, false. If we change this to true, and then click save, error reporting will now um, happen. So if I were to view this website and there were any errors that were kind of being hidden, it will now display all of those. So if your site is having uh, fatal PHP errors, you might not have seen it before and you were wondering why your site is down. Um, now it will actually show them. Um, <clears throat> This is really useful in diagnosing um, a lot of things. Like I said, if your site goes down, this is a pretty invaluable tool. So I'll include a link in the description um, to my kind of comprehensive guide of what to do if your WordPress site does go down. And hopefully that will help you um, kind of diagnose the problem and get it back online. If not, let me know and I will help you out.